Welcome to the ultimate pastel goth style guide. Too much for the title? You clicked it though. Hi guys, my name is Andrea and welcome to Barbie Punk. Today we're going to be talking about pastel goth. It's one of the most requested topics, not only here, but like on my Facebook, on my Instagram. So I'm going to kind of break down some tips for you on how I go about not only putting a look together, but shopping for it. This is going to be a little bit different from the rest of my style inspiration videos, less of a general overview of the fashion and more of a personal tip how to guide. The amount of times that I change in this video is ridiculous. If you want to see a full pastel goth lookbook, let me know in the comments. So if you don't know, pastel goth is basically infusing the elements of goth, which is, you know, black, romanticism, lace, often darker, creepier, witchier vibes with elements of potentially kawaii fashion or whatever other inspirations you get but that includes the pastel colors the cuteness little hearts you don't necessarily have to be into japanese fashion to be into pastel goth but for me that's kind of where i take most of my inspiration from one close relative to pastel goth is creepy cute which is less about the fashion itself and more about perhaps an art style. It's less about taking the black fashion elements with the pastel fashion elements and it's more about taking perhaps some of the themes from each. So you're kind of taking like the goriness and the creepiness from the goth side and the, the chibi, cute, lovable, cartoony <laughs> aspects of the kawaii side. So an example of pastel goth would be kind of what I'm wearing today, black with pastel. And an example of creepy cute would be perhaps an eyeball that's dripping with blood, but the blood is adorably pink. I'm not going to go too deeply into the history of pastel goth because it's really new. The term first came up on Tumblr in 2010, so it's a relatively new idea, but I think it's because people have decided that they like to mix and match things. Like why can't I love black and pink? Why can't I love black and pastel rainbow, lilac, light blue, light yellow? Why can't I love these things together? So it's currently a little baby, but if you want to check out my histories of goth and kawaii fashion, I'll link them down below. Some of the hallmarks of this fashion include the obvious mixing of black and pastel colors. You're going to see a lot of kind of cuter themes. So there's going to be like adorable bats, adorable cats, little hearts, stars. One theme you might see are kind of pagan and or witchy elements. You might see pentagrams, you might see upside down crosses. You might see moons. The silhouette here tends to be a little bit different than regular goth. At least in my experience, it seems like regular goth tends to be really long. It's about drapiness. It's about really romantic flowing dresses or your everyday casual t-shirt and jeans goth. But pastel goth leans a little trendier. It's a lot of skater skirts. You might see some crop tops. You might see some sheer things, you might see some bondage stuff, but again, it's all going to be about your own personal style. So if you can mix these elements with what you actually like, freaking do it. Be yourself. The biggest thing about this channel is going to be expressing yourself as you are and not taking what I have to say as law. I'm just out here trying to be my own weird self and I want you to be able to find who you are in your own weird self. So if this helps you to get there, then that's great. But don't be like, ah, Andrea said that if I want to be a pastel goth, I gotta wear moons. I love moons. You don't gotta wear them. Welcome back to my closet. Now this time, I'm not going to grab all of my pastel goth clothes and put them in a giant pile on the floor because that would literally be 
my entire wardrobe, we're actually just gonna talk a little bit about how I spend my money in this fashion. Guys, I am almost 30, which means I have had quite a few years on some of you to collect clothing. This was not my closet when I was 15. It wasn't even my closet when I was 20, 21. Through the years, I have accumulated bits and pieces. I talked with one of you about this in the comment section, but I wanted to expand upon it a little more. And that's how I save or splurge, specifically right now on pastel goth fashion. Because what I like to do is I like to build my wardrobe with kind of cheaper pieces and then decide which more extra items I want to splurge on. So you can find black items and pastel items pretty much anywhere. I buy things from Forever 21, I buy things from Hot Topic, I buy things from Target. If you look hard enough, you can pretty much find basic pieces anywhere. I just gathered some of my things to show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money. So, Forever 21, Amazon, Hot Topic, ASOS, Nasty Gal, Thrifting is also a great way to find cheap clothes. Now, I don't go out into the world much, so I like to use resources like Poshmark and Depop. I got this on Poshmark. It's a Marc Jacobs dress. And then what's gonna elevate it is the way that you put it together and the kind of more special extra pieces that you add to it. So here's some of my more expensive pieces. One place that I love spending money shoes. I think Demonia makes my favorite shoe for pastel goth fashion because they look really heavy and strappy and just like I could kick someone's ass in it, you know? I also have shoes like Why Are You, Doc Martin, Irregular Choice. I have expensive taste in shoes, but that's just one of the things that I like to splurge on. I also like getting really unique bags. Sugar Thrills, Betsy Johnson, Killstar. I also love spending money on really cool jackets. Punk Rave. Honey Punch. One Green Elephant. Things like tops, bottoms, dresses. They're constantly coming in and out of fashion. New trends are coming in. And those are things that you can definitely rotate more often. Things like coats, bags, shoes can go with more outfits, you're gonna get more wear out of them, and they're less likely to go out of fashion super quickly. So one of you asked me what my favorite store was in terms of pastel goth, and I said I don't really have one. What I like to do personally is I like to pick up pieces just from anywhere. In my style inspiration series I gave you a couple of goth stores that I like, a couple of kawaii stores that I really like, and then as far as pastel goth itself, I like In Control Clothing, Iron Fist, Happy Monday Store, Coco Pie, Coco Pie, Coco Pie, and Mer Bunny Baby. There's lots and lots more brands though. And also check out Etsy. There are a bunch of really cute stores on Etsy that will give you some really awesome unique pieces. This is from Little Banshees, but literally go to Etsy and search Pastel Goth and there's just tons and tons of fun stuff. I said I wasn't gonna make a pile on the floor, but here I am picking pieces off the floor. Ugh. These are the angles. You guys are way up there because I'm gonna be showing you some outfit making down here. Hello, dog. So I'm gonna be showing you the basics of my outfit making process. Hopefully this clip does not seem patronizing, but I have been asked this question a lot, how I put together my outfits. Again, fashion is subjective, so take everything that I say with a grain of salt. This is just kind of my process when I come up with an outfit. I'm gonna show you side by side two outfits that are as similar as possible, but kind of with the colors reversed. When I'm coming up with an outfit, my basic rule of thumb is that I want to make each piece stand out. So I'm gonna sort of alternate the colors so that each each portion is gonna stand out against the next one. You're gonna see this a little better when I actually show you the clothes. I'm gonna be doing this first portion with my two favorite colors, which is pink and black. Obviously you can start an outfit with any piece that you want, start with whatever inspiration you want, but I'm just gonna go bottom to top. I don't know why, 
just because. We're gonna start with shoes. Here we have our shoes and our dog. The next thing I'm gonna hit you with is tights. Instead of doing full pink, full black, we're gonna switch it. And finally, we're gonna hit them both with a dress. So with outfits behind me, you're gonna have separation of each thing. So at this point we have two fairly complete outfits, but the thing that I like to do that usually takes it from just being like a pink and black outfit is gonna be accessories. My favorite accessory is always the cage belt. We're gonna hit this guy with the black one, again to make sure there's separation here. And we're gonna hit this one with this iridescent one because I don't have a full pink one, but it's also gonna create a separation right here. And then we're gonna add my other favorite accessory, which is a choker. And then just for funsies, we're gonna also hit these guys with some matching bows. These are adorable. So these are my two outfits that are as similar as I can possibly get. And the premise behind this is to make every single item pop. This is just what I do for pastel goth looks in particular. That's not to say you can't have an all black outfit or an all pink outfit, but if you want to make each of them stand out, you're gonna want to be able to kind of alternate your blocks of color. So, for example, if we switch these two belts, they'll get kind of lost in the dress itself. You can't really see this really awesome black cage belt. You can't really see this really awesome iridescent cage belt. If you make sure it's on an opposing color, it really stands out really great. So it's kind of giving each piece its moment. And then we can easily add something with like a simple pattern on it. This one has both pink and black and could easily go with either look. So again, if we did something like switch the shoes, it would feel very heavily pink on the bottom over here and very heavily black on the bottom over here. And then some of the details would get lost in between. Hopefully that was not too obnoxious or patronizing. I have been asked a lot of times how I kind of put together my looks and this is just kind of the basis of what I do. So moving away from solid colors to patterns, I have this really adorable dress from Mer Bunny Baby Studio. Pew. To me this dress leans pretty kawaii, just because of the themes on it. There's a little onigiri on here, just a lot of really cutesy elements. But we're gonna start with this bad boy, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just really look at the print, and just really pick out some of the main colors here. So obviously the main base of this dress is black. So for all intents and purposes of our two separation sides, this is going to be a black dress. But because it has a pattern, we can easily pull out different colors from the pattern to match our outfit with. It's got this really big, beautiful block of this pastel blue, sky blue kind of color. It fades into a lavender, and it also fades down into this kind of bright pink right here. You can also see a lot of good chunks of pastel yellow in here, so I'm thinking the main colors we're gonna try to bring out are this pastel blue, the pink, the pastel yellow, and possibly even some of the purples. So I did a really kawaii styling of this on my Instagram recently, but we're gonna try to make it a little bit edgier today. So taking the colors from this dress, I don't have much yellows, so I'm probably not gonna incorporate that much, but I do have a pair of pink tights that you just saw, and I also have these blue and pink constellation leggings. We're gonna try to be a little more extra in this look. We're gonna go with the patterned leggings as well. I just think that these leggings really nicely match with the kind of blue that's going on right here, as well as the pastel pink that you see throughout the pattern here. When I did my more kawaii styling of this on my Instagram, I put it with this pink Why Are You platform shoe. For me, even though this dress is really, really black, this reads a little bit more fairy K, so I'm actually gonna switch this out for a black shoe. And these are my Doc Martens with a heel. So even though two of these do have a pattern, we're still going with the same principle of kind of alternating things. So black on the shoes, I'm considering this just pastel. And since the base of this dress is black, for all intents and purposes, this is black. So we're going black, pastel, black, which means the belt on top of it is going to also be pastel. I do like this belt with it, but I'm also interested in the idea of wearing it with a harness. Add this metallic jacket to it, and also 
a little black and pink choker. Ooh. I think that this is gonna be the outfit, but the biggest thing in fashion is gonna be just trying things on. Because in theory, it might work in your head, but you don't know how all of these things are actually going to interact with one another until you actually put them on your body. This looks interesting. I'm unsure about it, but I kind of like it. We tried some stuff. The amount of outfits I try on a daily basis that just don't work out is intense. But remember guys, this is just my style and rules are meant to be broken. So make your own fashion rules. All right guys, I hope that's what you were looking for from this video. If not, please leave a question or feedback in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you on your questions. If I get enough of them, maybe I'll make another video on this. But don't forget to like it, subscribe it, share it, bop it, twist it, pass it, and don't ask questions, just go with it.